Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we will learn how to import tasks or events into current records. If you have a large list of tasks or events to insert into the org, then using Data Loader is the best option. You will also need the record IDs of the associated objects, any associated contact, and the record IDs of the user who owns the records or events. First review which fields are required in order to insert a task or event. Who ID is the record ID of the associated contact or lead. This is considered a name of a person. What ID is the record ID of the associated account, opportunity, contract, etc. Objects that allow you to track activities can be set as the what ID. Owner ID is the record ID of the user that owns this task or event. Start date time and end date time only include these columns when inserting events. Events with a start and end date time in the past are automatically placed into the activity history. Also, there is specific formatting for these fields. For more information on how to format the date and date time data in a CSV file, we have put a link to this video in the short description of this video for you. Last field needed is subject and optionally description. It is important to note that you must use the unique record IDs and not just the record name. You can get the IDs exporting them from the data loader. In this screencast, I have exported the IDs for the account, contact, and user objects. In this example, I will insert two new tasks into the 1 Hotel South Beach Miami account with the associated contact John Smith and my user ID. I created a new CSV with the required fields to insert into the task object. I only have a few records in this example. If you have a long list, use VLOOKUP to match record IDs. For more information on VLOOKUPs, watch this video. We have also put this link to this video in the short description of this video for you. In this CSV, I have populated the correct IDs into the associated field columns. I put in subject and status. I will save the file and insert into data loader through the task object. And map the Salesforce fields to the columns in your file. I will log into the org, go to the account record, and the two tasks appear. For events, I created another CSV with the same details from the task file, but added the field start date time and end date time with the correct format. For more information on formatting date time, watch this video. We have also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Save the file. Insert into Data Loader through the task object and map the Salesforce fields to the columns in your file. Go back to the account record. And the two events appear. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you will need system administrator permissions. If you are interested in adding tasks or events via data loader and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.